Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm on the World of Tanks website looking at the 1.18 patch notes, the rebalancing of vehicles that's upcoming, and I'm looking at the French heavy line, the heavily armored line, not the heavy auto loader line. And the French heavy line is going to receive substantial buffs for the tier 10, 8, and 7. What? No tier 9 buff? The top vehicle, the tier 10 AMX M4 MLE 54, will undergo a complex rebalancing. This tank will have more hit points, 2400 instead of 2200, and its side armor thickness will increase from 60 to 85, which is huge, making it able to side scrape and not be overmatched by some guns. In the game, the 120 millimeter gun will have more penetration with the standard shell, while the 130 millimeter gun will have increased penetration with the special shell. To counterbalance these improvements, we'll slightly decrease the vehicle's hull traverse speed. Just a little tweak. But that sounds pretty good for the tier 10. The tier 8, the AMX 65T, will receive improvements to the 120 millimeter gun dispersion, plus, will slightly increase the vehicle's. HP pull, so HP up. French heavies are getting HP buff. Same with the tier 7, one of the worst tanks in the game. I like it though, I perform well in the AMX M445. The tier 7 heavy will also feel more confident in close combat. <laughs> to improve its survivability will strengthen its frontal and turret armor and increase its hit points. The thing has no armor to start off with, so I'm not sure how much they're going to improve it, but did I just say how much they're going to improvement? I don't know how much they're going to improve it, but I thought let's watch a game with each one of these tanks pre-buff and see how they are right now. I think I may have to go back and replay my French heavies after the buffs. Let's watch Icy Cat from the R1KO clan. Shout out to you guys playing his tier 10 AMX M454. It's a beast. It looks like a beast. It just, it is a pretty good tank uh, before, uh, like before buff, like right now. It's a, it's a good solid tank, but it's going to be buffed in those ways. I guess the French heavily armored line has been kind of underwhelming as far as the, the results go. And that's why they're going to get buffed. This guy's playing it before the buffs and going to show us exactly how to play it and you're going to have to play it exactly the same way only it's going to be better so why not i might have to get out and play these things before the buff because uh, if you're interested in three marking them or two marking them or whatever you're you're trying to do uh, achieve certain results after the buff the expectation values will jump so keep that in mind if you're one of those guys that likes to you know get marks on his barrel I'm not a three mark kind of guy. I'm a, a two mark kind of guy. You know, I like to get two marks. Oh, beautiful. He's on Selma Touche. Wargaming said that shot will go like a rocket. He's fighting tier nines and eights, which is optimal. And to be fair, when you search the results, uh, best or top damage results uh, for all tanks in the patch, you don't see any of the French heavy the heavily armored ones in the top 10 or the top 20 you just don't see them uh, because they're underwhelming you do see amx 50 b's occasionally with just absolutely incredible results uh because it has the the burst damage and uh, in the hands of a good player with the right situation the amx 50 b is a beast this thing here uh, i mean he's already bounced 1100 damage he's absolutely per playing it perfectly here look at this he's angled he's showing his upper plate on a on a really good angle his turret he's playing it absolutely perfectly here guys like, this is what you got to do but excruciatingly long reload time here but he's on salmon touche he's just this is absolutely beautiful what he's doing here is absolutely beautiful exactly textbook beautiful way to play this thing oh what if the enemies just exploded daddy <laughs> now we don't do that when the one of the enemies explodes we do that when one of the teammates explodes daddy a teammate just <laughs> another enemy just exploded he disappeared 
His camel net engaged. <laughs> but he was still there. There's a charioteer back there. Oh, he, that, yeah, the charioteer got him. The T-56 goes down. The IS-3 is now pooping his little diaper going, Why did I come up here? How come my team didn't help me? Team, I hate you guys. And uh, take one for the team. Oh, 550. Boy, the gun hits hard. Eh? I like this tank. Uh, you know, I... It's going to be buffed, which is even better. Why not? Just just make them pay. Make them pay. Make them pay. So, hey, if you're a uh, French heavy connoisseur, be prepared for more fun. And does he get the shot? No, he doesn't get the shot. Boy, the DPM is just not that great. As, uh, he has high alpha, so I guess, I guess that's why it takes so long to reload. But it's not a 750 alpha gun. It's a... Uh, what is the Alpha? Klaus, what's the Alpha? 560. It's a long reload for 560 damage, isn't it? It's kind of on par with that uh, Tier 9 um, Polish tank. Wasn't that about the same? Same reload, same damage, and it's the Tier 9. And then when you get to Tier 10, SRAM THE LITTLE COCKROACH! I don't know, you have to check those numbers, but uh, hey! Hence why it's getting boofed. Right? Take it. He's there. He's there. Boom! I think you missed. And this guy's just churning his way through the... Whoa! <laughs> Dodges a shot from the Jag the Panza E100. That would have hurt in the morning. That's a, that's a thousand... Over a thousand damage that he did not take. Because that thing hitting him in the side... Now, would that gun have overmatched his side? Let's think now. He's got 60 millimeters of side armor now. Times three... What's uh, that's odd? Uh, oh, maybe 180. No, that doesn't do it. He's not overmatched. That's a. There are only what gun will overmatch him? The 182 millimeter, the Death Star. That's about it. So I was full of shit when I said that. It just allows you to side scrape a little bit better. <laughs> armor not hit. It uh, it will allow you the the buff on the side armor will allow you to side scrape better. Uh, but uh, really, 60 is already pretty good for not allowing uh, guns to overmatch you, right? Because 60 times 3 is 180. There aren't a lot of guns in the game that are over 180 uh, caliber. You're going to, you're going to, the 122, the 152, they do not overmatch you. Even before, before boof. Come on, make a pick. Armor not penetrated. <laughs> well, you are shooting a reward uh, medium tank, my friend. <laughs> you are shooting a reward medium tank with your 250 millimeters of pen. Your premium shell has 280 millimeters. That's not very good. And low shell velocity. They didn't mention in those notes whether they're going to increase the shell velocity. That is horrible. Shell velocity, 840. And the regular ammo shell velocity. Ooh, this is That's terrible shell velocity. They said increase the penetration. Wargaming, are you not going to buff the shell velocity? That's like lobbing a softball in there. Oh, don't take one in the side from him. Angle your armor. Now can he bounce? Can he bounce? You don't have the... Whoa, he missed! He missed! He missed! Make him pay! Get the gun depression! Get it depressed! 554. And that took you a while. He's going to probably reload faster than you because that took you a while to get that shot. But he's going to hold his ground. He's going to hold his ground. Come on. Make it count. Make it count. Get the lower plate. Boom. Okay, now back. He did not. He still out-reload him. Or either he, he still out-reload this guy. Or this guy's a Muppet. <laughs> Hoo-ha! Come on. He's playing with fire here. He's got 1,200 uh, uh, hit points. And that guy could take away all 1,200 of them with one shot. So you got to be careful. Boy, I wish this thing... Had an extra two millimeters or two degrees of gun depression. I guess this thing just does not have anything that's any good. <laughs> Boom! Oh! Bullseye! Beautiful! Beautiful! And now this Yag the Panza E100 is saying, What? Make it bullseye again. Make it bullseye, make it bullseye, make it bullseye. He's got pixel! That was beautiful. And he did that, guys. With the regular. 250 millimeter pen, 130 millimeter shell. That is just superb gameplay. 
Uh, Icy Cat, shout out to you, buddy. You did that like, like a boss without pressing number two. Now, if he just pressed number two, he doesn't get a lot more. He gets 280 pen. That's not a very good premium round. Just, oh yeah, go ram him. Ram the cockroach. Ram the little cockroach. You he bounced two shots. Get, 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 uh, jump on him like a... Uh, uh, you can run, but you can't hide. Gile Cree. It's about time they boofed uh, the French lines. You know what, this game... Gile Cree! Oh, wait. What was that about? Hello? Hello? Hello, Klaus? It's Pierre. Oh. It's Pierre. What do you expect? Why? Why you show... Why? That's the best game. Why I you searched. show French tank explode? But, well, I but, can't help it if the French tanks are shit. No, 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 you did it. It's stupid. No, no. It's just stupid. I'll show some... I'll show more. There'll be good games, I promise. Why you show... French tank game where French tank die. Huh? 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 Everybody know French tank is best. Everybody know that. Hello? Hello? Mange la merde. Well, that was the top damage game in the current patch for the AMX M454. He ended up with 9,083 damage. And he made credits because he did not spam APCR. Larger motherfucker. XB3. XB33 from the Pearl Clan. Shout out to you guys. Has his Tangerine Dream camo. And he's playing the AMX 65T. The tier 9. Or the tier. Sorry, the tier 8. That is an absolute travesty. And I, I played this thing, guys. And I. The, this, this tank. It needs a buff. This tank has everything that makes this game frustrating and horrible rolled into one package. And that's this tank. The gun is troll. The tank is slow. Uh, and although it is a heavy tank and you're slow, it has no armor. <laughs> it's just everything that could possibly be bad and make you rage... Gun handling, gun accuracy on the move, penalties, terrain resistance, penalties when you turn your turret, penalties when you traverse your tank. Anything that feels bad is rolled into one package and it is the AMX 65T. And this guy's going to show us how painful uh, it is to play it now. And let me know in the comment section, do you think that the proposed buffs are going to be good enough? Are going to make this thing competitive? Because I remember grinding the French heavy line. And I... Oh, this thing just drove me nuts. And he got penned and he's already looking at his turret going, What? <laughs> Let's see where it is. What? Just shoot it anywhere in the turret. Uh, I didn't mind the tier 7 because at least it uh, hit hard for its tier. This one is just utter crap. Then the tier 9, I didn't mind the tier 9. The tier 9 was okay. But this thing, oh, this was like, I don't know if any of you caught my streams when I was playing it, but it just made me, oh, okay, come on. Oh, yes, 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 make him pay. Yes, beautiful. And he, he he's, he's just playing the corner there. He This guy, he's in a tier 9 game and he was going to go north. <clears throat> and he looked at the uh, uh, the t deployment of his team and he said, someone's got to go south here because no one on the team did. And in the shittiest heavy tank in the game, he went there and he's basically holding that corner by himself. Now an E75, I don't know what the E75 is doing where he is. He's, he's in a crossfire. Look at the map. This E75, he's going to get shot by these guys. He's just a Muppet. But this guy has taken the corner... And he's doing the best he can to hold off these enemies. He's getting spawning assist because he's the guy that got got them lit. He's fighting tier nines. Look at this. Boom! Oh, ho, ho. he caused 393 damage. 
He's still got a lot of HP. And he's holding the corner like a boss. He's holding a hunk of shit. <laughs> and holding the corner like a boss. Beautiful, buddy. Beautiful. And what is he shooting? He is shooting APCR. L l spamming it like a mofo. And he's low rolling every freaking shot. Like this thing is supposed to have 400 alpha. And I'm saying like 374, 393, 388. He had one shot there, 422. But man, low rolling in this thing <laughs> and not penetrating the side of a Black Prince is just excruciating. Although he did bounce the Black Prince. It's, look, he's game sense. Like even if you're playing a turd, this is a perfect example, guys. He's playing a turd, but he still did something crucial to help his team here because he went to hold this corner. Otherwise, they would have been completely flanked and the game would be over by now. The fact that he came here and he's slowing these guys down. Because as they move up the hill, these enemies, they're exposed to sh flanking shots from him. Otherwise, they'd have free reign on this corner. He just did it. Look at this. He's going to put another shot into that. He's got... Oh, he does. And now they have 705. He can't mess with an object 705. Don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. Get, go. Oh. Did, did the 705 not shoot him back? Beautiful, beautiful, okay, just fantastic gameplay. You got to give credit to a guy when you got someone on your team that's a, in an underwhelming shit tank, and he does this. It's just incredible. This team should thank this guy for the amazing. And he just took a pick. <laughs> He's wondering how is he pen? How are they penning me? I'm in a heavy tank. Well, anyone can pen you. The ISU one two two S has some pretty good uh, penetration. The northern flank won because his whole team went to the northern flank. And they should thank this guy for not allowing the enemies to completely come around and... Uh, uh, oh, he took another one there. What? Your turret. The turret ring is stuck and he had to turn his tank. To, this thing is horrible. The turret ring was stuck on top of it being shit and he stunned again. Whoa, he's stunned again. Whoa. Just an excruciating tank to play, guys. And that's all it takes to ace this thing. He ended up with uh, 3,951 damage. And he aced it. Uh, and he lost credits because he was spamming APCR like a motherfucker to help his team win. Well, a French tank video would not be complete unless we featured Pierre. From the 101 E clan. Shout out to you guys. Playing the tier 7, AMX M445, which is going to be buffed, armor buff. But this guy does it before buff, smashes into the STRV who's in the way. And surprise, 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 he's top tier, tier 7 fighting tier 6s, which is pretty much, um, well, it makes it easier, doesn't it? It makes it easier. And this guy is just playing, he, this is, he's, He's, he's not working the controls, okay? I had to go to third person there to find out whether the game was broken. No, this is just how he plays. And he misses the shot because this thing can't hit anything. This is one of those uh, French heavy tanks that's really not a heavy tank. This is a big medium tank right now, okay? I, I guess Wargaming's intention is to buff it to make it um, a heavy tank. And he is using the gun that I do not use. He's using this gun now. Let's just check it here. Uh, yeah, 212 pen, 240 HP of damage. Shoots fast. A heavy tank that does 240 uh, damage? No. I use the other gun. The gun that does 300 damage. Much longer reload time. Sometimes necessary to spam APCR. That's how I played it and I made it work. This guy's making it work with just this little, little pee pee. Huh? And he's good. Look. His driver's dead. How much? Oh, there's that. Just one of those uh, Burt's that's shooting him over and over again. That's got that eight or nine second reload. You better get out of there or you're going to get shot by Burt again. And this guy takes another shot. 216 damage. Death by a thousand cuts. Can he do it? Shoot right there. Yes. How come we're not seeing the outline? Wargaming, have you given me a bug? No, nope, there's the outline. Uh, boom. He left Foutier! He just did 400... What? Ammo rack? 
I didn't see the ammo rack symbol, but uh, I guess he ammo racked him. Well done. RNG said, yes, you will do well. So you can see the fast firing accurate gun like this. Uh, it's a medium tank, right? You can't argue with it. This is a medium tank. And it's in the French heavy line. And so many people hate it. So many people just rush through this tank. They, they're they going to go through the French heavy line and they say, okay, let's, and this was the first one. Well, no, there's the BDR and, you know, the, but this is the, you get the tier seven, you get this one. And you play it. And after your first game, you go, what? Because you roll up to the heavy tank corner and you die immediately because no one bounces on you. And you plink guys away at 204. This is the top gun, too. And you realize, holy shit, this, this tank sucks. And so what most people do is they um, they just get the amount of XP to get the next tank and then they, they never play it again. Hence the um, expectation values to uh, three mark this thing are very low. Because most people just rush through it. They, even they grind it with uh, without all the modules. No, like not everyone free XP's the modules to play their tank uh, fully elited. So people grind through this tank. Uh, half the games are probably played by people that don't have the tank fully elited, and the results are horrible on on average for this tank. So if you want an easy tank to two or three mark, this one. After it gets buffed, we will see. It might be harder. But, I, I mean, I read that the buffs seem to be just a little bit in the uh, armor. Uh, so, yeah, you got more survive, survivability. Okay, this guy's bounced 640 damage. Like he's, he's about getting about as lucky as possible, and his shots are being about as lucky as possible. Like, Wargaming is just saying, yes, your shots hit. And he's using the gun, the fast-firing gun, as best he can. He's out-reloading people, and he's out-DPMing people, and he's going to just shoot that Capola. And he bounced a, a VZ. He, he, this guy's bounced a thousand damage. Oh no, you cannot bounce KV2. You do not want to bounce KV2. This guy's just, this guy's, it's like he's playing a Russian medium tank. This guy's playing an object, uh, object 430. Oh, you missed. Look at the big fat Cabolas. <laughs> what? You know, that was, I think you got some assist damage there. 190. This guy's over 4,000 damage. What am I saying? This guy's doing great. This tank needs to be nerfed. Wargaming. This, uh, this tank obviously needs to be nerfed. Wargaming's got it wrong. <laughs> it's got speed. Come on, get him on the move. Snap! <laughs> Give him a little love tap. Oh, the artillery, the bird that had to move up because he doesn't have the range. Boom. There, 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 boom. Kill steal. He's on fire. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section uh, whether you're happy that the French heavies are getting buffed. Whether you think the buffs are enough to make them playable. Are you going to go down the French heavy lines now? Now that the, they're going to get buffed? Let me know. I hope this video comes out before patch 1.8, whatever. You never know, because I, I do a lot of pre-recording. But um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know some uh, your thoughts in the, in the comments, and we're going to keep looking at the patch notes and doing videos on the tanks that are going to change. Okay, I think we're going to do the American line tomorrow, because there's going to be some nerfing going on to the T-29 and some buffing to the other American heavies. Well played, Pierre. 4,729 damage, and he made some credits. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next one.